far as I'm concerned, uh, you deserve them all. Uh, first of all, for being committed and dedicating and staying and holding on. And, and I know that sometime it got hard, and I know that you all have families and you have children, and you had to have uh, had it very hard trying to keep a household together and raising children and being on the road. How did you handle the children? Uh, did you carry them with you sometimes? or Well, some, sometimes during the summer when uh, the children were out of school, I would take... I had two sons, mm -hmm. and I would take my two sons with us to North Carolina, and then the, they would stay there because uh, one of the members, I told you that was her home in Asheville, and her mother lived there, and her mother said, well, let the children stay here with me. Right. And I would leave my two sons there, and they would stay until we go and do certain dates, and then we'd come back, pick them up, and come on home. Uh -huh. And Joe, you're semi-retired. You'll never, you'll never retire. <laughs> We're not going to let you do that. Margaret is not going to let you do that. But you're semi-retired. What is one of the uh, things that you've noticed, learned most about being on the road and singing uh, out there? What are some of the things that you really have as precious memories or a special time that you remember the most uh, about being out there on the road singing as a part of the Angelics? Going from one city to the other, and then big crowds and everything. Yes. And I just, I just, in fact, I didn't enjoy all of it. All of it, you loved it. Yes, I loved it. And, and, and Joe, who was your favorite um, singer or artist that you sort of uh, looked up to? She talked about the piano player that inspired her. She used to pretend she was her. But was there special uh, singers that you enjoyed um, back in the earlier days of gospel and no, not really. Uh, I'd like to say we all admired Valerie. All right, Valerie. Valerie was really something, I tell you. <laughs> she was. Valerie don't know the doors that she's open <laughs> as far as the angelics. Just for a few moments, we want to come up to date. Uh, we have a few action pictures here on the Fantastic Angelics, and one of the latest pictures uh, of the angelics taken from uh, your latest album entitled. The latest album. Lord, you gave me another chance. Lord, you gave me another chance. It's the latest album. Mm -hmm. Let's come up a little bit and talk <clears throat> about how you feel about the music of today and a lot of the gospel that you're hearing now. If we can get just a little bit of, of opinion of what sound you'd like to hear gospel. I know that your kind of gospel and this that you sing will never die. This is that God-given music that touches the soul of people. But what is your favorite uh, music? And I know that it's gospel, but how do you feel about the music today? And what is the favorite um, that you can listen to today and feel like uh, you have uh, put that trend out there for a lot of people to come after you and record? What do you really mm. like today? Uh, do you have special uh, artists that you like today? We're all the way <laughs> up in the 90s now. <laughs> well, I'll answer that question. I, I like, say, it's contemporary uh, music that they're, you know, playing mm -hmm. now. And I like it. It's just that I wouldn't do it myself mm -hmm. because I feel as though that I have established my sound. And for me to vary from it, it would take something from the angelics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but I love to hear, I listen to the keynotes and uh, the uh, Williams Brothers. I just love to hear that. You know, because there are certain songs that they sing, and uh, well, the, the jubes are not, the jubes are not really contemporary. Mm -hmm. No, but I just I say. But they've done some contemporary songs. Yes, they have I mean, done some. Yes, they so have. Important. They have. But I feel as though that with gospel as it is today, there is something to suit everybody. Yes. For those that don't like the uh, traditional gospel, mm -hmm. what we're doing, mm -hmm. if they want to hear the uh, contemporary. Mm -hmm. They have groups out there that's doing contemporary. Mm -hmm. So when we go on the programs, usually it's with other groups that's doing contemporary. Mm -hmm. And then they bring on the angelics. We are the traditional gospel. So I like I like contemporary. Oh yeah, there are certain songs that I just like to hear groups do, but I wouldn't try to do it because it would come out right. Okay. <laughs> you have to go with what you feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know that you feel this gospel here, and I sure feel it too, and I know you feel it because the angelics have gotten the victory, and we're so proud to be able to do this today, and this has been marvelous, and you have learned some things today about the angelics that 
none of us knew. We have went back into the history of the Angelics, and they certainly are living legends, and we're happy that these Philadelphia gals have sang souls happy throughout the world. And we hope that you enjoy all of this video, and we say God bless you from the Angelics, and yours truly, Diane Brown, and we're going to leave you with this picture, the latest from the Angelic Gospel Singers. God bless. <laughs>